Okay, back again. Uh, it's burning for two and a half hours at this stage. Just, it's just getting dark, so I just want to do a video before it gets dark. Um, one thing I found out afterwards there was the thermometer actually only reads 299 degrees, 300 degrees. So uh, what was happening was uh, I think it's getting much hotter than that. Um, I've also increased the drip. Not sure if you can see that. getting hotter. It's getting much hotter. So much so that it's starting to, just starting now to burn the paint. Which I wanted it to happen so I can rub it off and put a bit of stove paint on it. But um, yeah, after two and a half hours I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, there's virtually no smoke. None whatsoever, Hardy. And I've estimated it's probably used, this is the tank, a temporary tank. I only put a gallon in there and couldn't have used more than half that so it's probably burning a litre an hour at max. I've turned up a little bit more so uh, I'm just going to keep keep it going and see. So there you go, the Ozart homemade burner. Talk to you later guys, bye. Morning guys, uh, it's the next morning after the first lighting of the Oslo type fire. Uh, it burned for six hours, consumed less than uh, a gallon of oil. Uh, that's a European gallon, not an American gallon. Uh, I, estimate, I estimate probably three, between three and four litres is all it burned. Uh, so let's just see what's underneath it. This is where the dri oil drips in and it flows down along. So it's a hard, it's a hard kind of a. It's not too bad actually. Okay, need to break it up with a screwdriver or something. So that's the contaminants that was in the oil was left over after the burning of the of it. And uh, yeah, it's sooty around the side here as well. And black. So they say, all right. The soot is fairly black. Anyway, I'm well pleased with that. Consumption of oil was less than three dollars per litre. Three dollars per gallon, actually. Okay, guys. See you later.